Hello, world. This is Cuz the Internet Podcast. I'm your host, Trey. I'm your host, Zay. Let's get into it. Nah, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Who's ain't loyal, G? Who's ain't loyal? So you go to work to surprise your wife. When you get there, you see her <sighs> work husband, we'll just mm-hmm. call her that, giving her a back rub. You know what? Sorry. I take that back. You see some dude giving your wife a back rub. What do you do? And see, the reason why I took back the work husband thing is because you don't know who this dude is. Yeah. Because the work husband, she would have had to come home, talk to you about, oh my gosh, this is my work husband, da, 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 da. Even though, you know, you might be like, yo, stop calling me your work husband, yo. You got a husband here. But, you know, everybody has that. So it's like, okay, I'll live with it. But you know nothing about this dude. You just go there to surprise her and you see that. What do you do? Go. Wow. Um, the thing is, to be honest, um, I don't know what I would do. Um, I just know it wouldn't be good. I know that I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, bruh, why? Because that's the thing. We all know the rules. You keep it player. And you never fight the dude. You just, you know what I mean? Break it off with the lady. But me and how my temper is set up, I'm going to probably fight the dude. Because I need to just release this anger. So I'd be like, yo, why your hands on my girl? You know what I mean? Like, both of y'all getting fired today. Because I'm going to fight you. <laughs> and they're going to ask, why are we fighting? It's because you two. So you just, you might as well just leave work so we can fight outside. Like, I would be totally, I'd be upset. I'd be upset because it's still a violation. Again, my definition of cheating, I'm pretty sure, is different from everybody's definition. And when I say cheating, I'm using the word cheating loosely. But my definition is anything that you have to hide, any relationship you have to hide from your partner, in my mind, is cheating. So any type of, whether it's when you're, see a girl and you're giving another girl a massage but if your girl was around you definitely wouldn't do it to me that means you know you're doing something wrong like that in Mm -hmm. my mind is cheating so i'm using cheating but that's a violation yeah so that to me a scenario like that would be a direct violation that i cannot trust you like this something you know you wouldn't do in front of me but because you weren't expecting me you let your crossing lines so I, I i would definitely i'd have an issue about it and like i said they both be fired because i'm i'm probably scrapping right in the spot and i know it's very minimal but the way the way i'm set up bruh that that to me it would be extremely offensive how do you feel about it so back in the day mm. if this would have happened i would have been all with the issues like Okay. All right. Let me talk to you. Come here. I got something to say to you. Like, yeah. it would be like, I may not want to fight him, but I'd scare him and be like, look, don't you ever in your miserable life put your hands on my girl. Mm. I will kill you next time. I promise. <laughs> and I'll get away with it. You know, that's worse than me fighting, right? No, it's not. Yeah, you're threatening talking. to kill him. I'm talking. I'm just saying. <laughs> and then I'll say, ha ha, I'm just joking. Hey, I hear you. <laughs> ha, ha, I hear. I'm just joking. Ha ha, just kidding. <laughs> but I'd be like, but guess what? I'm going to talk to T about it, and we're both going to say, no, it was me. So this way, even if it does come back, we'll never get arrested because they'll never find us. Ha ha, I'm just kidding. Bro, he, like, you're, both going, like, <laughs> you're both going to jail. He's like, oh, this, you said it was foolproof. <laughs> I seen it in the movie once. Um, but no, like, for real, for real, I talked to him, like, this is back in the day. Yeah. I remember something similar happening. So this is why it irked me yeah. when it happened. And I saw it and I was just like, hmm. But now because of who I am and who I'm with, I know it would not have been, and I know maybe I'm putting too much into this and maybe thinking too highly of like my girl, but I know she wouldn't disrespect me, disrespect me like that. So if 
I came and I saw a dude giving her a back rub, I wouldn't think, oh, she's going to cheat on me. She's trying to, like, I wouldn't jump the gun. I wouldn't be like, I'd just be like, okay, cool. Like, there is definitely a reason for it. Mm. And that's it. So now, at this point, we'll have a conversation, obviously. Yeah. Like, okay, what was that about? Because we're not going to pretend like it didn't happen. You're going to turn to me and be like, oh, hey, this is John. Yeah. And, oh, he just whatever. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Yeah, hey, nice to meet you too. But that's what it's going to be. And it's going to be, all right, cool. It's like, See, I so, feel you. But I think that's where we're getting kind of confused. Maybe it's the word cheating. Because I don't no, think, I get what you're saying. Cause I don't think that the back rub necessarily means cheating. But for me, it's no, still no, a no. violation and disrespectful. Um, so therefore, I would still be handling it as though I'm disrespected. Um, and again, men should again, never move on emotion. But once again, mm-hmm. that dude owes me nothing. Huh? He doesn't know me. No, he does doesn't. he even know that she has a girl? Oh, she has a girl. Whoa. Does, does he even know she has a dude? She's involved with anybody. Mm-hmm. We don't know. So well, maybe it could have just been like, trust me. <laughs> like so it could have been one of those things where he was just like oh yeah you know trying to be yeah yeah Little funny cute whatever hey, hey. like it's one of those things where was like all right cool yeah <laughs> so i mean at that point it's like oh you gotta do okay we ain't gonna do that i'm sorry whatever yeah like, but she, it's just, she was know. letting it happen though but you know there are huh I get you. There are those creepy dudes out there who will just come and be like, hey, uh, come on. uh," And they're like, okay. uh," No, but see, that's the thing. If you catch that, then it's all good. You'd be like, yo, what's up, man? You you know, you could just totally, because you see her making the move to get away. But no, if he's just behind her, his back pressed against her, no, his chest pressed against her back and just talking to her, and you're just like, Like, right. y'all want me to come back or <laughs> that, that, and that's that. when it's like oh bruh yeah, that's shoot I don't know personally like I said I tried it like I told you and I keep saying two sides of me there's a side I want to be I want to be the person to be like man nah I'm out of here then there's the other side of me that's like you're out of here like mm. so <laughs> That, that's the side that I'm pretty sure would come out. The I, I'm, hmm. I'm I'm not I'm just not built for certain things. That's why I stay away from them. Like I I'm very transparent in the person that I am. So I and again I trust my wife 100. percent So and I again that's one of the reasons why certain things I think would hurt people more. Like when you trust somebody that they wouldn't do something and they know you, you know them. So when they do something against the person they know, it's like yeah. you consciously did that. You know what I mean? Like, even though it's something as small as just getting a massage. And it, again, um, I saw a, a video of a dude like that scenario, getting a massage. And the video I saw, it was it looked a little too close. Like I said, the dude was pretty close to the girl and giving that massage. and. To me, if I saw my wife get a massage like that just from a random dude at work, I'd be like, that's your brother, right? Like, that's the only way that makes sense. I think it's weird, but it's your brother. That's the only way it works. Just saying. You know what? Yeah, like, okay. It's not that I want to take back what I said, because, I mean, I still hope and believe that I would act the way I reacted. But... Yeah, I'd have a lot of questions. I really would have a lot of questions. Like, okay, so what was going on? Like, why was he so close? Like, it's not to say I feel like the relationship's over because of it, but it it would definitely be one of those things where I'd be like, we need to talk about something. Like, what just happened? Like, what did I see? Like, yeah. something like that would happen. But it wouldn't be me just skating over like, ah, you're just being cool. Boys being boys. Like, no. Nah. Something's gotta give. Minimum, minimum, you're you're checking him and be like, "Yo, why, why are you up on my girl?" Like you're saying something, mm. and you're saying something in a way to get a reaction too. So you, you know what I mean. Worst case scenario, you're not the one that just punched him. You're just like, "Yo, why are you all over my girl?" They'd be like, "Oh, this is your girl." They'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> you know, <what> I mean? <laughs> just, you're saying something. I you thought it was win. our. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Man. You want something for him to do something, so you're just checking him and just like, I don't know, man. I'm not, maybe I'm going too deep, too much in the deep dive in it. I know I am actually. I'm just saying that's a violation. Um, that's how I think. I, I have certain rules, certain ways. I think that's a violation, bro. If uh, no man should be, even though a massage is not necessarily sexual, but it can be. Right, as we know. You know, back in the day, you used to be like, yo, just, I'll give you a massage. Yo, just take off, <laughs> take off your shirt. I'm just going to give you a massage. And it I always went somewhere else. I heard people used to do that. So, um, yeah, I never did it. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'll yeah, just. Take off them drawers. <laughs> <laughs> take off them drawers. Let me give you a massage. <laughs> but yeah, but no. Um, overall, that's one of those things. One of those. <laughs> One of those things, man. No, it's a violation, and that's that's why. And it doesn't even mean that it's gonna be a breakup either. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying because it's not necessarily cheating. I'm just saying my opinion of cheating is when you can't do something in front, or and the same thing with talking on the phone, or it's the same thing with you know messaging. If you have to hide messages you're sharing with a girl, that means that you're doing something wrong, and you know you're doing something mm-hmm. wrong. And and that's how I view relationships in general, man. You have to stay away from those things. If you don't, then yeah. In my opinion, you're cheating on an aspect of the relationship. Maybe not the full relationship, but an aspect of it. You are cheating. Mm. Call your boyfriend on one of their phones right. and see if they'll be down enough Netflix and chill with your boyfriend behind your back. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Give him a jingle. All right. You got the number, right? Yeah. Let me find it. But are you nervous, though? No, I trust them. I'm with Ashley. We're just like, we're trying to leave, but like, we don't have a ride. Y'all can't call an Uber? No, can you come get us and we can like maybe hang out or something? We kind of want to see you. Alright, yeah, I can do that. But like, Gina can't find out. Is that fine? Yeah, just don't tell her. Fucking kidding. Take the phone, take the phone. I thought we were like best friends since like, what, sixth grade? <laughs> Wait, hold I'm up. I'm so confused. Are, are, are you serious? Are, are yeah, I'm fucking pissed. What, what did they do, though? They called my boyfriend. If he's doing this with us, what about any other girl? I mean, you're right, but I just don't know why my best friends would even think to call him. So, I was on the interwebs the other day, and I saw this post or a video where three friends were out. Three ladies. So a dude stops them and he's talking to them. So he asks them, hey, are you guys in a relationship? Are you guys single? Two of them say they're single. Mm -hmm. One says she's in a relationship. So then the dude then says, can we do something? Can we test your boyfriend's loyalty? Now, apparently these girls were friends from time. So she says, yeah, sure. Do you have the boyfriend's number? Yeah, I have the boyfriend's number. So now they call him and put him on speaker. And they say, basically, uh, we're out, we're chilling. We don't want to go home. Can we come chill with you? But don't tell so-and-so, the girlfriend. My man responds with, all right, yeah, cool, cool. I'll come get you. Like, but just... Make sure you guys don't tell her. All the while, she's standing right there. So now they're all in shock and disbelief, and they're like, so you're going to come? But don't say anything. He said, hey, you guys don't say anything to her? But yeah, I'm coming. So they hang up the phone. The girlfriend now then turns to them, saying she can't believe what they did to her. So now they're confused. So is the dude who's interviewing them because they say, we didn't do anything. We were just advised to call. You said it's okay to call. She then says, well, we were girls from how long? And you, you guys really did this to me. The dude who was interviewing them or did the prank, he then says, they didn't do anything. I was the one who set it up. I was the one saying, I, can I ask you guys, can I do this? Mm-hmm. With all that being said, what are your thoughts on that whole situation? All right. So I think this one might be a little weird, right? Because my thoughts is, okay, she was embarrassed, hurt. So she lashed out, lashed out at her friends, which 
naturally it was displaced anger it was supposed to be for the guy we all understand we all know that so i think it was more just embarrassment and you know how it is like whoever might have assisted in causing that embarrassment you're going to be upset with so i think that's where it starts from but in her defense um sometimes and i'm not saying she's smart for this but sometimes people don't want to show their insecurities so they let stuff play out so she might not have wanted them to do that with her girls but well she might not have wanted her girls to do that but she still didn't want to be like no don't do like you know show her insecurities out so sometimes you put yourself in a position hoping that since your people know you they'll be the ones to be like no no like let's not even try that and maybe her problem might have been that they didn't pull the plug on it when they know that they might she might have felt like you guys know me like i don't do this type of stuff it's like but she just probably didn't want to come out that way on camera like i don't trust my man like so i'm just saying that's a different angle that it happens a lot of times why people don't realize why that person the third party might get the 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 anger towards them because again she might be like you guys know me we've been friends forever you know i don't play these games i don't do this but you guys still wanted to go through with it but she might just wanted to you know not show out that she's insecure about her relationship so she let it slide of course it all goes back to her if that's her insecurities and it goes back to him for betraying her but i'm not just saying that her anger towards them might be because they understood they know her and they still did it knowing how she is i'm just throwing that um out there that could possibly be it how do you <clears throat> how do you feel about it i feel like she was the ugly duckling mm. so when growing up she was never the cutest one or whatever and she grew into herself she now dresses differently cut her hair dye her hair do whatever she did mm. but it's all false security yeah. to hide her insecurities because she's still the ugly duckling deep down inside and you being mad at your friend for something he did like you said it's definitely misplaced anger yeah but I feel like in her mind, and this is just my theory, my thoughts, because she has that ugly, ugly duckling syndrome, she feels like she can't do better. So she's going to stay with him and deal with the stupidness he does, even though he doesn't treat her right. Mm. Because he's the only one who's willing to, like, she doesn't see the beauty in herself yeah. that others will see. So yeah. that's what I feel happened. So she's mm -hmm. really mad at him, but she yeah. doesn't know she's mad at herself for putting up with it. But so yeah. that's what I feel. I know I didn't really say much. It was uh, a lot, but I hope yeah. you understood what I was saying. I definitely did. And, and I think that could possibly be it too. But again, that's why I think that some of it might go to her friends. Because if her friends See, know that, I'm just saying, if her friends know that's how she is and how she's been, because you could tell when your boys are insecure. You could tell when your boys are, I'm just saying, and I'm sure her friends might know who, how she is and know that she's, so to play those types of games, again, when you know better, you do better. Sometimes it's all fun and games, but sometimes in the back of your mind, you know that this is a game we probably shouldn't be playing. Like if one of my boys was like, yo, I want you to holler at my girl, see if uh, she cheat on me. I'd be like, hell no. I am not doing that, bro. I got no parts in it, man. You need to figure that out. That's not for me. Again, that's not because if, let's say, she was okay with it and she did, I just don't want no parts. I don't want no misplaced anger. I don't want nothing. Again, and that's why I could see why she would be upset. I'm not saying she'd be right for being upset because her friends did nothing that she did not say okay to. So I'm not saying she has the right, but all I'm trying to say is sometimes you can see why there's misplaced anger. It's, that's all I'm saying. But the thing is, a lot of the times, a lot of people only think about themselves. 
they're not very observant to other people's feelings and emotions. So they just might be like, oh, she thinks she's better than everybody because, oh, she has uh, the cute boyfriend and she lost all the weight and now she, she glowed up and whatever and la, 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 la. So they're hating on her because they think, oh, she thinks she's better than everyone. When in reality, she's fighting her own demons in battle. I'm not saying this is... No, I know. We're this, just giving different scenarios. Scenario. Exactly. But I'm just saying, that could be it. So they... Yeah. Like, you being close to somebody, you can see the reason why you're doing this is because you're insecure. You have insecurities about X, Y, Z, and this is why you react this way, and this is why you treat people this way. Mm. Now, and this is for people who observe things or know their people. But then there are other people who, I want to say friends, because they're not really your friends. They're just there just so they can report on what you're doing to other people and mm -hmm. talk about you. So how do we know in reality that's not what these two friends were, where and, and, they didn't really care? And so and that's so, why I'm saying. So therefore, she could have probably been, it, it might, that might have been her moment of clarity moment where y'all don't have my best interests at heart and again we're putting a lot on the friends but we're just giving different scenarios so mm -hmm. these friends could have just been innocent bystanders too like yo this seems fun are you sure you're cool like we don't know what cuts happened whether they were like i don't want to do it and she was like no do it i trust my man all of these things could have happened but i'm just saying for her she looked real bad in the video because she was getting mad at the friends and but mind you her man wasn't there for her to even get upset with him mm. so we don't know how she's gonna handle that even but she was yet yeah, so she looked bad for getting mad at the friends when she said okay to it so that's why i think we're going on these different scenarios to just give different reasons why it could have been and yeah. again there's no real reason because she said okay to it so at the end of the day you only have yourself to blame but i'm just saying sometimes you assume your friends know you well enough that you might say yes to something, but they'd be like, nah, bro, let, let's not. Like, you know, what I, like it's happened to me mm. millions of times in my life. I'll be like, I'm just throwing this out there, but I could jump over this lake of fire. And they'll be like, just because I'm so hyped and in an argument with somebody, yeah, I could do it. And my mom be like, no, no, we all know you can do it, bro. Don't do it. They'll just talk you out of mm. it just and still let you save face. So she might've been looking for her friends to do that. And then they're just like, cool, let's go for it. Just saying, like, but once happen. again, like, and don't get me wrong, in this scenario, yeah. I am not blaming the friends at all. No, a hundred percent not. It's all on the boyfriend, yeah, point blank, because it's you who have the relationship with him, they don't have the relationship with him, yeah. And if they called him behind your back and did this, and he said, Yeah, he's willing, like, I mean, obviously, if they did it behind your back and you weren't there, then that's an issue, yeah. Everyone can get it. But if you're there and there's a third party saying, hey, you want to do this prank? Call and you say, okay, and you call it. Yeah. Then that's an issue between you and him. Exactly. You shouldn't be taken out on them. No, I agree. I agree. And more times than not, I feel like it will never get back to him unless he sees this clip because she's not going to argue with him about it. I, I feel like she'll just necessary. go home and she'll just... I feel like in this situation, she's just going to go home and she's just going to... I don't agree. Even if she gets mad at him, hey, hey, why would you say that? And he'll be like, what, whatever, they're lying, like, whatever. Oh, well, we were there. Oh, well, you know, I was just joking too. Okay. That's very possible. And I'm not saying, see, I'm just saying I don't agree, but it's very possible that could be the outcome. Um, but all I'm saying is when you're in the moment, and you're feeling extremely embarrassed, you lash out usually at the closest person to you that's, you know what I mean? She didn't want to double down and call him and just start yelling at him on the phone because all that would be on tape or whatever. So it's it's a lot easier just to talk but to the person. turning to them and yelling at them on just be tape? Like, Because again, she's just saying like, from what she's saying is that, I can't believe you guys did that. Like, so that's why I jumped to the conclusion, like maybe she was assuming they would have, called her out like you know what i mean called her and be like yo nah let's not well, you go know this some route. all people are not built the same mm -hmm. you and i would do that but there yeah. are other people out there to be like you know what run through the fire let's see if you get no, jump over it let's see yeah. let's see go for it go for it yeah. ah yo this idiot 
that jumped over fire, caught himself on fire, six, 60 million degree burns. Like, just yeah. so they can say things. So this is why I'm saying, like, maybe, maybe that's her thought. Like, we don't know. You know I what? know, I know. But we, that's the whole point, man. Talking about we, it. But yeah, listen, we don't That's know. the whole point of what we're doing here. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely just giving different scenarios. But me, I wouldn't do that either. Like, again, regardless of how I feel about my wife, but let's say I was not married. If I had a girlfriend, I wouldn't ask my boys to try holler at her and see if she's going to cheat. Listen, anybody listening to this, if you have to go outside of your I relationship, <laughs> if you have to go outside of your relationship and ask somebody to, if they've asked somebody if they've ever been with your girlfriend, um, ask somebody if they could holler at your girlfriend, as somebody, anything to do about your relationship to whether if she's cheating or if she will cheat, you need not be in that relationship. That means that it's just not for you and the trust isn't there. You've already lost it if you have to go somewhere to find out if the person's being faithful. It's that simple. I swear I was going to say the same thing. If you have to question it, it's not yeah. for you. Leave it exactly. alone. Exactly. Exactly. I know as much as you want to, because you might be like, yo, she is so bad. He is so, uh, like, oh my gosh, like, I really want this person. Mm -hmm. But you know, there is no good that will come from it. Why put yourself through it? Exactly. You're waste. you're just wasting time. Big facts. Big facts. Whether it be a couple of weeks, a couple of months, even a couple of years, you're wasting your time because you know, you will never ever be satisfied with what's happening in your mind, there's always going to be something and you know how it goes. If you look for something, you will find it. Yeah, so. and sometimes it's right in front of your face, but you just need someone to validate it. And at that point, you might as well let it go. Again, if you have to ask somebody whether your, per your partner is being faithful, that means that you already know the answer. Once again, this is Cuz the Internet Podcast. You can follow us on all platforms. Cuz the Internet on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Cuz the Internet at gmail.com and TikTok. Once again, I'm your host, Trey. And I'm your host, Zay. And remember, if it's on the Internet, we may talk about it. Hey, you. I. I can't see it. I can't laugh at it. Ha, ha, ha.